Now, North Korea is earning hundreds of millions of dollars every year by sending more than 50,000 people abroad to work in conditions of forced labor. Mazuki Durizman, UN Special Rapporteur for Human Rights in North Korea, raised the issue through his annual report to the UN General Assembly this week, saying the regime is making up to 2.3 billion US dollars a year from their confiscated salaries. Durizman said the workers mostly sent to Russia and China to work in mining, textile and construction are not given enough food and forced to work up to 20 hours a day with just one or two rest days a month. The special rapporteur renewed his call for the UN to refer the North Korean government to the International Criminal Court.